Ian, another game Tuesday. I know it's in the Papa John's Trophy, but I'd imagine it's a game you definitely want to win, especially after losing at Cambridge on Saturday. Yeah, we're we're still ticking about. Well, I am still ticking about Saturday. To be honest, it's still still not got it out of my system. Um, but yeah, we're, we're glad we've got this game. As I said, we, it's a bit of a break to the Monday night game on Sky, so it gave, gives us a chance to to have another game uh, in that space of time and and then have more or less a week to prepare for, for Burton. So, yeah, all four systems go, really, and we'll try and win the game tomorrow. Do you look at it as an opportunity to make changes and, and, and give players some much-needed game time, or does that break between tomorrow and Burton mean that you can play a slightly stronger team? Yeah, that, and that's the difference, really, from last week to Wigan. Um, we didn't have a quick turnaround and a long journey. We've now got you know six, seven days to prepare for Burton after this one, um, and obviously a home fixture, so... So yeah, there'll, there'll be uh, quite a number of players that will be ready to go again. You probably expect Port Vale to make changes, but you must still be expecting a competitive game. It will be a competitive game. Um, Port Vale are a difficult team to play against. You know, the physical, the strong, you know, direct at times, but they put you under pressure. So we need to stand up to it and then be better than what we were on Saturday. No league game until Burton Albion on Monday. How do you manage? A week of training and how is preparation different when you're not playing on a Saturday, it's actually on the Monday? Well, yeah, I mean, that will be something different and new to us. Um, obviously, we'll just reconfigure the week accordingly, really, and make sure that um, it's a similar week pattern in terms of our training um, to what we normally follow. So following this game, we'll, we'll make sure we're ready for, for Burton on Monday. We now know, of course, that Josh Sheehan's been called up into the Wales squad. I'd imagine frustrating to lose him, but yeah. a player of his quality deserves recognition. Yeah, we are frustrated because it was kind of a last-minute thing. Um, we didn't get told till very late last night, and obviously we were preparing for the game tonight. But delighted for him. He deserves it. Um, he's been outstanding for us since he's come to the club, and I hope he gets some game time. Yeah, he must be really pleased with how quickly Josh has settled in, not only to the club, but, but that midfield three with, with MJ Williams and Anthony Sarsovic. Yeah, we feel that that's a real strong part of our, our team and, and squad. Uh, the midfield area, obviously, we've got Kieran Lee, George Thomas and Tutti as well. You know, it's it's a real competitive area of the pitch for us. But yeah, I'm delighted with all the new lads, really, and how they've settled. Transfer deadline day tomorrow. There's always a lot of hype around it, always a lot going on. Are you expecting a busy day tomorrow or, or a bit of a quieter one? Um, well, we're hopeful that we've got our ducks in a row, really, and we've got the preparation done so it won't be too busy tomorrow. Um, obviously, we're working very hard on, on maybe bringing one or two in, um, and then maybe one or two exits, so we'll see what happens.